After the tragic drowning of a two-year-old boy this weekend in the pool beside his west side home, News for Jax is looking into what the guidelines are for pool safety. So many of you read this story on newsforjax.com over the weekend and left your condolences on our Facebook page. Police say Colton Holbrook died after he wandered into the pool while his dad and stepmother thought he was sleeping. The Sky 4 helicopter flew over the area today. You can see the pool in the backyard. JSO says the pool was properly secured, but somehow the boy got through the gate. Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell joining us now after speaking with a local children's safety organization. Elizabeth, you have important information for parents. Well, Joy, Florida law says that any pool built after the year 2000 must have one of four different security options. Now, one of those is a gate like you see around this backyard pool. This one has added protection by having this lock so you can actually lock it and take the key. Now, the more security measures in place, the better. In order for a child to get to, say, this gate, they not only have to go through this screen patio door, they also have to go through the main house door. A parent's worst nightmare. They believe their child is sleeping, then they find them dead in the backyard swimming pool. 15% of these drownings that are toddlers and preschoolers, the parent or the caregiver thought the child was sleeping. So it's not an uncommon thing. And that's where you have to have these barriers in place ahead of time because they're curious and they do wander out. Cynthia Dennis with Safe Kids Northeast Florida says the Florida Residential Swimming Pool Safety Act requires pools built after 2000 to have one of the following four safety options in place. A barrier around the pool, like a gate, an approved safety pool cover, exit alarms of 85 decibels that can be heard from 10 feet away on all doors and windows with direct access from the home to the pool, or a self-closing and self-latching device on all doors that have direct access from the home to the pool. If you decide to have a barrier outside of your pool, like this gate here, it has to be at least four feet tall. Now this one is right at four feet tall. Dennis says 90% of pools in Florida were built before the year 2000. So it's important for homeowners with pools to take responsibility. It's best to have multiple layers of protection. So sort of a fail safe system. If one of these barriers does not work, then hopefully one of the others will. The more safety options around your pool and home, the less likely a tragic accident is. Something else that can help prevent children from getting to the pool is a fence and yard with a gate like this. Obviously, you would have the gate closed. Now, a lot of times the latches are even higher, which makes it even more difficult for the child to get in. So they've got the fence there. Then they've also got the gate in this backyard, giving it uh, double protection. Uh, now, Northeast uh, Safe Kids Northeast Florida and Wolfson Children's Hospital uh, work together to help prevent these types of tragedies from happening. You can find more information on their website about these guidelines. We've provided a link to that on our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live this evening, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. Elizabeth, our hearts just go out to this family. This was the eighth child to drown in a pool this year in Northeast Florida. What does Safe Kids Northeast Florida recommend when it comes to starting swimming lessons? So it says that swimming lessons are crucial, and they say that they usually recommend parents get their children enrolled in swimming ages around the age of four. But they say if a parent has a child who is more likely to have a drowning incident under the age of four, say, for instance, if they do have a pool in their backyard, they can start swimming lessons even earlier. Now, as for those infant uh, classes that uh, teach an infant how to float if they fall into a pool, uh, Safe Kids Northeast Florida says every child is different, and so for that uh, they say to check with your child's pediatrician because every child in every situation is different. Elizabeth Campbell reporting live for us tonight. Elizabeth, thank you.